Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to be talking about the top content writing jobs and how to secure those top content writing jobs this year. Now following the strategy that I'm going to share with you, I have been able to close clients worth thousands of dollars for my content writing business. And you can do the same if you follow it step by step. You can earn as much as $100 to $500 an article if you're going to follow this strategy. But in all honesty, let me tell you that it will take a lot of hard work and it will take a lot of patience for this strategy to get implemented and for it to actually yield results, okay? But once it starts working, once you get comfortable with this strategy, you will earn and you will land the best content writing jobs out there and you will be paid what you ask for and those are the premium rates to be paid as a content writer. Just make sure that you watch this entire video, you take your notes and follow the process step by step, okay? Hi guys, I'm Chavi. I'm a YouTuber, a blogger, a freelance writer and an online business coach. I create videos about working from home, freelancing and making money online. So if that is what you're interested in, please do click on the red icon below and subscribe to my channel guys and let's get started. So the strategy that can help you land the best and the highest paying content writing jobs is cold outreach. Now before you close the video and run away from this strategy, let me tell you that it works. I'm not going to, I'm not asking you to send out a cut, copy, paste kind of email to everybody out there. There is an entire strategy to it. So sit down, take your pen and pencil, take your notebook and jot down this strategy. You will thank me later when you are going to be landing clients who pay you $100 plus for an article. Now, this strategy starts way before you are actually sending out the email. So what are you going to do and what do I expect you to do? The first thing that you need to do is to pick out a very specific niche for yourself. Are you going to be writing technology content? Are you going to be writing productivity content? Are you going to be a recipe writer? Are you going to be a video game writer? What are you going to be? What niche are you going to select for yourself? So select that one niche for yourself for this single strategy, okay? Pick that niche and create a portfolio for yourself. So you can create a mock portfolio with four to five articles. If you don't know how to select a niche, if you don't know how to create a portfolio, then you can watch the video here that will help you out with that. You can also take my free training on how to start freelancing that goes over both these topics in detail. Okay, the link, the link is in the description box below. Go grab that. So you are going to have a very specific niche. You're going to have a portfolio in that niche. Once that is done, you're going to know and research on your target client. Who are you going to work with? So if you are a marketing writer, are you going to work with SaaS companies? Or are you going to work with digital marketing companies? Or are you going to work with freelancers who are into marketing? Who are you going to work with and who is going to be your target audience? You need to be very clear on your target audience for this cold email for this outreach strategy to actually work for you and fetch you clients that pay you the premium rates for content writing jobs. So research and find out who you are going to work with. So if you are working, if you want to work with e-commerce, within e-commerce, who are you going to work with? Are you going to work with shoe companies or clothing companies or handicrafts company or loungewear? Who are you going to work with? So figure out who you want to work with and start making a list of all the startups and companies that are in that specific niche. So you can use angel.co, Crunchbase, and your story to figure out what are the startups in this niche, who have got funding, who is looking to hire, who is looking to expand and make a list of that. Once you have a list of all the companies, you're going to go and search for the most relevant person that you're going to be pitching your content writing services to. So if you are looking to pitch your services as a freelance writer, then you need to be doing that. You need to be finding out emails for content heads, content uh, managers, marketing managers, chief marketing officers, and, every, and anybody else who you think will be the decision maker in this field. Now, it is extremely important that you get the email ID of the decision maker. If you don't do that, then your email is going to go waste. It's going to be 
uh, sent to a person who cannot make a decision and more in most probability they're just going to delete your email but if you are going to send your pitch to a relevant person they're going to read it they're going to understand it and in most probability they will also book a call with you so once you have the name of the companies the name of the relevant people that you need to uh, send your email to you need to find their email id so how you're going to the, do that you're going to use this uh, app called voila norbert or hunter.io i'm going to leave the links to both of them in the description box below they are extremely simple to use all you have to do is to go to their website and follow the lead so you can use them and find out the email ids to these relevant people when you're researching on these companies the one other thing that i want you to make a note of is how you relate to them so is there something that you really liked is it some is it a brand that you have been following? Is it a brand that you wear? Is it a brand that you use? Have you been following the founder of that brand? Something that is personal, something that tells the reader of the email that it is specifically meant for them, okay? This is the first way to personalize your pitch. The second way to personalize your pitch is to find out something on their website that they can improve. So if you're a content writer, and if you see something on their website, on their blog, on their Instagram content, on their LinkedIn content, and if you think that a small tweak can really help them get a lot of leads or get a lot of traction, then do that. Give them a very simple tip or a few tips to improve their existing content. So what you can also do is to figure out if there is something that you can optimize better so it can rank higher on Google. Those kind of tips that can help them do better business so these are the two ways that you can personalize your pitch while the first one is the most normal way of personalizing your emails and everybody seems to be doing that if you select the second method and if you hit the bullseye with your tip then you are definitely getting hired by that company okay so make sure that you go through their website you go through their social media and figure out one tip or two tips that you can give them for free that can make a difference in their business and use that in your email intro to give you a brief idea about how your email is going to look like it's going to start at the subject line so find something that generates curiosity in the minds of the reader then you're going to start with hi and the first name so you are not going to say to whomsoever it may concern dear sir or dear ma'am no you're going to address the person with their name so let's say hi chavi and then you are going to talk something about their business or how you relate to them and that personalization that we talked about so you can say something like hi chavi i went through your website that is mrs taco studio and found really great content about working from home and making money online I also saw that you have written this X blog post a few years back which can be optimized for this specific keyword and it would probably start ranking as soon as you update it. Or you can say something like I was looking through your past archives and I came across this really old article that you have written. I see that you have not really optimized it for search engine so I found a few keywords that you can utilize in your existing article and you can optimize it to rank for newer keywords and these are the keywords that you found okay so you basically found a flaw in an existing strategy in an existing article and you told them how they can optimize their article and get better results with something that they're already doing right so that would definitely uh, trigger a response for your email because even if they're not hiring they will at least thank you for everything and they would probably keep you in mind for the next time that they are hiring so you're going to say, you're going to start with the address that is hi Chavi. You are going to write that personalization. So you can either personalize with how you relate to the brand or what you found on their website. The second one is obviously better. Then you are going to introduce yourself as an expert. You're going to say, hi, I am a social media manager or a social media assistant or a virtual assistant or a freelance writer. And I have worked with brands like blah, blah, blah. And I have been able to, you know, help them sell a lot of products via email marketing or uh, you have been able to rank higher on Google, some kind of results that you have driven. If you're a beginner writer and if you have no results that you have driven yet, 
you can always say that you help brands create engaging content you help create brands informational and actionable content that cre- that drives engagement okay so you can always write quality content you can always write optimized content and all of that so figure out one kind of result that you can always put into it whether you're a beginner you're an intermediate or an expert you will always have some kind of results that you have written okay and finally attach your portfolio let them look at what you have done in that specific niche and then ask for a call now there are different ways that you can ask for a call so if you are recommending them something if you're recommending them to change something or to include a keyword you can always say that let's get on a call and i will uh, give you two to three more tips that i have found that can help you optimize your content better it's a free 15 minute strategy call so let me know when you're free and give your calendly link if you're not doing that if you're just personalizing your email with how you relate to the brand you can tell them that you have some specific uh, blog post ideas in mind that would perfectly suit their audience let's just get on a call and discuss this out or you can keep it extremely simple you can just start with personalization introduce yourself tell them that you're looking um that you provide freelance writing services and let's get on a call and discuss if you can if and how you can help them with their content okay so these are your options and these are the kind of cta's that you can have in your pitch once you have sent out the pitch remember that you need to follow up at least three times once you have sent out the pitch so you can follow up the third day the seventh day the 14th day and the 30th day and if they still don't res- respond to you you can mark them as a done lead okay so just to recap a little bit i am just going to give so just to recap a little bit you're going to pick a niche you are going to create a portfolio you are going to find a target client for yourself you are going to make a list of those target clients and a relevant person that you can send your pitch to and then you are going to write a bot, write a pitch that you can and then you are going to write a template pitch that you are going to use with everybody the only thing that you are going to change is how you connect with the brand and how you're going to personalize that email so whether it is how you connect with the brand or what you found on their website whichever way you are going that's the only thing that you're going to be changing and most probably the only other thing that you will be changing is how you want the cta to be now the one pro tip that i want to give you is that the more creative you can get with your pitch the more time you can spend helping out the brand for free in that first email that you're going to send out the more you're going to get the response so you can also try to do a loom video and put that video in your um, email that really boosts and shoots up the amount of response that you're getting going to get with your email pitches now all this said this strategy can definitely land you clients worth thousands of dollars but let me tell you one thing very honestly cold reach cold outreach and cold email strategy is a numbers game so if you're going to send out a 100 pitch in a month you can only expect to get positive or negative response from 7 to 8 of them only 2 to 3 of them will get you, get on a call with you and only one or at max two are going to actually convert into a paying client the good thing about this is you're going to send 100 pitches but the client that you're going to close is going to be at your rates at the premium rates that you're demanding that means that instead of working for low paying clients instead of working for 10 clients to make $100 you're going to be working with one client that pays you $100 for a single article and that's what we all want right so this is it guys this is how you can get top paying content writing jobs i hope this email helped you out and clarified the cold outreach strategy that you should be implementing if you have any questions please put a comment below and i will get back to you if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel by hitting on the red icon below and i'll see you next week guys bye bye